This is an exciting time for the Earth because our planet has found itself a new fan. This month, the Earth will grab a second moon, a mini moon, that's the technical term. This mini moon is a tiny asteroid, basically. It will orbit our planet for about two months in a strange horseshoe shape from September 29th to November 25th. So why will our planet suddenly get a second moon? And why only for a short period of time? What does this mean for us? And has it happened before? Our next report tells you. When asteroids approach our planet, they usually do one of two things. They can either hit our Earth, but mostly thanks to our stars, they miss. Sometimes though, they do. They leave a bright streak in our skies and a wound in the crust. There is a third route, but they very rarely take it. What's that? When an asteroid is captured by Earth's gravity, it starts orbiting the planet and becomes a moon. Recently, scientists looked at the skies with NASA-funded telescopes and they found one such asteroid which is about to do just that. A space rock that will become our planet's companion. The asteroid is called 2024 PT5. It's 33 feet long. And from September 29th to November 25th, the asteroid will loop around the Earth. But not quite like our original moon. The moon is Earth's primary companion. It has hung around for about 4 billion years and orbited our planet consistently. But the asteroid 2024 PT5, the second moon, will orbit Earth in a quirky fashion, in an odd horseshoe slingshot manner, kind of like this. And then, after about two months, it will break free. It will break the gravitational tether and fly off into space. This will happen in 56.6 days to be exact. But, until then, 2024 PT5 will be our mini-moon. That's the technical term for asteroids that fail to escape Earth's gravity and end up orbiting the planet. They are called mini-moons. Usually, they're tiny and speedy, so it's difficult to spot them, especially with the naked eye, which is why the mini-moon won't be visible to most of the sky watchers. It's too small and dim for amateur telescopes as well, so one can only observe the asteroid by using professional astronomical telescopes. Even though we can't see it properly, the mini-moon is important to us. It can teach scientists more about other space rocks like 2024 PT5, because this is not our planet's first mini-moon. An asteroid called 2020 CD3 was bound to Earth for several years, but it left the orbit in 2020. Another, called 2022 NX1, was a mini-moon in 1981 and then again in 2022. It will return once more in 2051. Because sometimes mini moons return, and so will 2024 PT5 in 2055, when its path will put it back in Earth's orbit. There are about 25,000 such asteroids, and to date, only about 11,000 have been discovered. So it's important to study each mini moon while it's with us, and scientists hope that with 2024 PT5, we will learn more about the busybodies stuck in traffic near our planet.